What's going on you guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how I took my Shopify dropshipping store from this number to this number. Let's do it. Okay, so what is going on you guys? We're currently in my Shopify store. As you can see right now, my sales are now at $1,700 for the day. So fingers crossed we can hit 2K a day, you guys. Cross your fingers for me right now. Just kidding. Um, yeah, so hopefully we had 2K a day. Got 13 visitors on there. Let's go ahead and check the live view so you guys can see that I'm not BSing you. This is my store. These are live stats. Um, yeah, so we'll see if this ever loads uh, to go onto my live view. And here we go. So live view, we got 13 visitors. Thousands, 200 sessions, 59 orders, and 1,700 sales. So go to my dashboard. Basically, I want to show you guys kind of where I started to where I am right now. So I have a 4.8% conversion rate, which is good. I want to get this up to like 6%. So we'll go ahead and get rid of compare it on there. So it just shows November 24th to February 24th. So I broke $20,000 in total sales. As you guys can see here, I kind of really like looking at this, honestly, because like look at, you know, um, so basically up until this point, I think I started the coaching with um, Ivy Zoo uh, around January, right? So around this time is when I started coaching with um, Ivy. And before then I was using entirely free, um, entirely free services from YouTube, Google, search, you know, looking on Facebook, Facebook groups, probably like a lot of you. Uh, and then I kind of made the commitment here to, you know, get coaching. And, and I was always kind of against coaching just because, um, you know, I, I wanted to be able to do it all on my own. And like, I didn't think I needed anyone's help. But to be honest, like mentorship is huge. Getting coaching is huge, whether that's free, whether that's paid, I'm not saying go ahead and go go by coaching, right? Like that's not what I'm, that's what, not what I want this video to be about. I want it to be about like, use what resources you have and what resources like you can make available to yourself. Like I highly recommend doing that. So, you know, as you guys can see, I did was able to hit 1K a day, um, a 1K day completely by myself. No coaching, no courses, no anything. I was able to hit it, but what ended up happening was my ad account got disabled uh, around January and I was offline for a little bit. So it got disabled. I had to, you know, stop my ads. I didn't have a backup ad account. So this was really problematic. And then, you know, I decided to, hey, I need to go get some help, some professional help. And the months of January to February, right, you know, I would say from January like 12th to February 20th were pretty damn rough. Um, I didn't sleep much. I was working a lot, you know, uh, it was definitely a, a tough, tough couple months, you know, when you're spending money, you're just seeing your bank account go down by day by day. It's just, yeah, it wasn't good. So anyways, um, what I want to do is I actually want to go ahead and jump into, well, let's go ahead and show my, um, today, today's stats just so you guys can see it. So yeah, today's at 1,747, like I showed you before. So let's go ahead and jump into my ads manager and I'll take you guys kind of day by day my ad spend from um, the beginning, like in January and then in February, and then show you guys exactly how many days I went losing money until I actually became profitable. So now that we're on my ads manager, uh, what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and filter by, I'm gonna filter by lifetime so I can show you my lifetime ROAS. And this is on the new ad account that I did start uh, back in, it was like February about was when I started this ad account, or January actually, it says it up there. So yeah, January 18th is when I started it. I think that's when I got my uh, Facebook ads manager like re-enabled so I could create new ad accounts, which is I highly recommend doing, have at least like five on there. Um, so yeah, lifetime ROAS of this ad account um, for all my testing, not just for my winning product is 1.72. So that is actually profitable. Uh, my break even ROAS just to fill you guys in is 1.3, 1.4 for my current winning product that I'm scaling in the process of scaling right now. Um, just keep that in mind, right? 1.3, 1.4 ROAS. So, you know, anything above that's gravy, that's profit. That's what we want to see. So let's go ahead and go to uh, let's do like january 31st i see if we're see if i was running ads then i can't quite remember yeah so it wasn't running ads january let's go like february 10th maybe okay so february 10th i spent five dollars didn't get a sale so that's one day i'm losing money february 11th february 11th i spent ten dollars and i lost money so that's two days in a row <clears throat> 
February 12th spent $44, 1.1 ROAS. So I'm also losing money on this day. That was th So that's three days in a row where I'm in the testing phase, right? I'm testing different products, different interests, and I'm losing money. So that's three days in a row. And here we go. Let's see if we can get a magical number four. Yep, four days in a row. Uh, amount spent $30, as you guys can see. No purchases, nothing, right? Nothing on here. So that would be four days in a row. Okay, so fifth day in a row, $86. Wow, 0.3 rows, that's pretty bad. <laughs> Only got one purchase. So that's what, that's five days in a row that I've lost money. I'm smiling right now because I know where I am, but like during this week, I was not smiling at all. Like, believe me, it was not fun. I mean, I, yeah. I can't stress enough. Like I can't really, you know, talk about that week because I was not, I was not a happy camper. Let's just say that. <laughs> so February fifteenth, spent thirteen dollars, did not get a sale. So that's six days in a row I have lost money. And here we go, the sixteenth. Yeah, two dollars. I don't know if you can really count that. Sure, we'll count that. Seven days in a row. And now we're on the next week. You know, hopefully I thought I was gonna be better sales, so it didn't get any. Sales on this day, only spent $7. Uh, so that's uh, eight, here's the ninth day. Ninth day, I spent $99, so I ran a couple different tests. Very, very bad ROAS, so I'm also losing money. So nine days in a row, I have lost money. On the 10th day, on February 19th, I spent $78, 0.7 ROAS, three purchases, also lost money. So 10 days in a row, I have lost money and I've lost a lot of it, right? Like I'm not, I'm not making, it's hundreds of dollars at this point, you know, I'm not making any money. But then look, so on February 20th, actually, this was the first day I did make money. So I did make a profit. Um, so I went essentially 10 days. Yeah, one, two, three, yeah, 10 days without making any money. And that was, you know, after being in the Shopify business, the Shopify world, e-commerce world, for uh like two two months i guess it was three months so you know uh, it's kind of like about your guys journey you know you're going to start at one point that not, might not necessarily be where you're going to end you just have to keep going you know and keep pushing through uh so yeah let's fast forward another day so it took me 10 days basically i was losing money for 10 days i mean i don't know about you guys but if i saw if you know when i see my bank account go down every single day like by a hundred dollars by fifty dollars whatever it is and it's not going up like that stresses me out. So I know you guys are probably been in the same boat before. Uh, the next day actually had a little bit lower ROAS. So I was still making money right from my 1.3, 1.4 uh, break even ROAS. I spent $370 and I was still making money. So at this point, this is when I started to kind of like uh, scale the product. And I worked very, very closely with um, Ivy. He was very good with, you know, calling me late at night, uh, helping me out with any of the questions I have. So like, um, that's kind of why I'm actually making this uh, video is because I actually want to show you guys um, what it's like in the scaling and the testing phase. Um, a lot of times you only see YouTube gurus or, you know, um, people on social media show their results and they don't show their profit and kind of like their trials and tribulations. So that's why I really wanted to go in depth and show you guys, break it down like every day, exactly what I was doing. Um, and show you guys kind of the results I had cause it was not fun for a while, but now it's pretty damn fun. So February 22nd, I had a ROAS of 1.51. So I'm still making money, very small. And the reason I'm the reason my ROAS actually dropped down this day is because we launched a lot. And when I say we, I mean, you know, Ivy's with Ivy's help, I, I launched these campaigns and tested a lot of stuff on my own. So basically, I was testing a lot of different interests and, and I'll go ahead and break it down but in the my interest ad set. So I tested, it was a lot of different interests. And like, as you guys can see, these ones are pretty, you know, profitable on the, for the ROAS. But if we go to the amount spent, filtered by the amount spent, like you guys can see, look, I spent $11 and didn't get a purchase on this one. $10, $10, $10. Like there's a lot of these $9. Like I didn't make any money on these, right? So I'm testing an interest and I spent $9, don't get any money. So that's kind of why, like, like you guys can see, like, look at this campaign. It's got 0.9. ROAS, but uh, overall, I mean, my, my other ones worked well, you know? Um, so yeah, just, that's just another thing to kind of look at. And on the 23rd was like kind of a, I think this was really my breakthrough day. Um, it's when I really started to gain more belief in drop shipping and, and, and in myself too, you know, I knew that I could do this. So I uh, had a ROAS of 1.99. I wish that was so much cleaner for the video, but 
you know, it is what it is, right? I'm not going to cry over it. So 1.99 ROAS, extremely happy. I was testing in uh, yesterday was a bunch of CBOs, a bunch of lookalike audiences, retargeting, and tons of interests, interest um, campaigns. So basically, um, some of my most, most profitable ones uh, are shown here. And if we just go ahead and go into like my, let's go ahead and go into my, uh, my interest testing campaign so you guys can see that one because that's where the majority of the sales come from. That's, yeah, $844, so 2.1. And, like, look, as you guys can see, like, 12 ROAS, 11, 10, and then it goes, oh, it's filtered by this. So, yeah, 12, 11, 10, 6, 5, 5, 5. Like, those are really, really good ROAS. I actually want this ROAS to be lower because with, like, that high of a ROAS, I really think that you're... Um, you're leaving money on the table, you know, like you're not reaching as many people as you can So this is an ad set where I'd probably either bump up the budget or what I do is I duplicate it into um, The same ad set and maybe I'd break it down by like um, Where I'm you know the platform or I break it down by country uh, Placement maybe I do like only Instagram feed. Maybe I do only Instagram stories, right? Like I could definitely do that uh, So that's what I want to look at. You know, I want to look at the data here break it down by what I think would work best test that and then scale and then um, vertically scale that one, but always first horizontal, horizontally scale that. So yeah, it was a breakthrough, you know, day for me here. And then if we fast forward to today, fast forward today, let's go back to the campaign level. And I have, it's showing, so another thing, you guys have heard this before on Facebook, it doesn't actually capture all your purchases right away. And sometimes it doesn't just doesn't capture certain purchases. You know, I don't know why that happens. Um, but like, as you guys can see, right, like here, let me refresh this again. So we have live data, like what 51 purchases, $1,534 total is what it's saying my conversion value is with $700 spent. But you know, let's go back to this. I'll go to my home so you guys can see it. Uh, clearly, that's not right because I have $1,747 in sales. So it's not capturing about, you know, what is it, eight? It's not capturing like eight orders on here. So this ROAS is actually higher than 2.1, you know. It's, you know, let's see what it is really quick. ROAS is actually 2.4. So 2.4 for the day so far. Um, that's a good amount of profit. Uh, another thing about profit is, so on my Instagram, shameless plug here, you know, uh, skip over it if you don't want to hear this. Basically, on my Instagram, at Connor Chapman, I show my profit at the end of each day. I show my sales, show my cost of goods solds, and then I, you know, I was along with my Shopify fees. And then I also kind of give like a couple second, couple minute um, breakdown of kind of what I did in the day, uh, what I was scaling, and what I'm going to try and scale next. So if you guys are interested in that, just go ahead and check out my Instagram um, and yeah, I'm going to try and post a lot more here on YouTube. Like it's definitely something I want to do. I've just been so busy lately, like scaling this, obviously, you know, you, I launch a ton of different ad sets every day. You know, I'm working with fulfillment, hiring VAs, uh, optimizing my store, you know, getting all these, uh, customer, um, customer facing, uh, activities going. So there's a lot going on right now. Um, and that's why, you know, YouTube's kind of taking a backseat. But I do want to show you, take you guys along this journey. So kind of let me know if this is a video format you guys like to see. I know this is kind of popular where a lot of, you know, other gurus do it this way where they'll show the screen and then share it in the corner. Um, you know, it's, it's, if it's what you guys want to see, I'm more than happy to do it. Uh, another thing is that uh, I would definitely say, like, as my biggest piece of advice for you guys throughout this entire journey is that like you need to figure out why you're doing this because if you don't figure out the reason you're doing this and find out your why, then you won't be able to make it through those hard times, right? So like those days that I wasn't making money, I knew the reason I was doing this is because I wanted to make money for myself and I wanted to not trade my time for money. I wanted to actually trade, trade my effort for a return. And that's the reason that I started this is because, you know, yes, I'm passionate about making money. Yes, I'm passionate about, um, doing a lot of other things, right? I'm passionate about sports. You know, I like hanging out with, you know, my family, my girlfriend, stuff like that. But my biggest thing is that I want to build something that is my own. And that's something that, you know, I take a lot of pride in. And, you know, that's why I've continued to push through those hard weeks and those hard days. So I hope this video kind of can help provide inspiration to you guys. You know, it's been it's been a, a long couple months here, but, you know, I'm starting to see kind of the light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. So yeah, if you guys like have any questions, feel free, drop a comment below, um, like the video, share with your friends, whatever you got to do, you know, no pressure on it. Um, all I ask is you guys, you know, 
just keep me updated on your guys' journey. Like, I want to hear what you guys are doing. You know, if you're struggling like like I was, uh, let me know, definitely. So, yeah, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Uh, enjoy the end of your weekend. And, yeah, let's kill next week. Right?